Hello and welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. We are here today. We're going to go away against Brentford, and oh, I can't believe I'm saying this in a possibly like a possible promotion clash. Look at this. We are in third place, exceeding all expectations, even my own expectations. I don't know what's gone right this season, but it, it continues to go right, hopefully, and we continue this form. And in a move which could either be great or disastrous, I decided to finally do a custom tactic on one of my players. It was for Haaland. I was sick of the fact that he wasn't running in and getting a good position. So I've put his attacking runs to get in behind. I hope that works out. I don't know where to go with... I might go with custom tactics uh, for other people. I'll probably do them off screen, I think. Um, perhaps give them a try anyway, see if it makes a difference. But I don't know how much difference needs to be made, really, because... Like I said, we're in third. If you didn't see the last episode, we uh, took on Barnsley and we just beat him. We had uh, two goals. We were 2 nil up. They gave us a late scare right at the end um, from one of their goals. But in the end, we still held on. We still got the win. I think our win streak is 8 and our beating streak is 13. So if we can keep that going, I'm just quickly going to check what the Brentford Stadium is if they don't have it in the game. But before we do, we're going to go into the press conference anyway. I'll do it on my phone while I'm doing the press conference. Thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. No problem. Apparently it's called the Griffin Park. Our true Clash of the Titans today is you face Brentford. Who will get out on top? I wouldn't say it's Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans is more stokely full on, but... Uh, we'll play and see. I can't say anything more than that. We'll just have to play and see. I can't say I'm going to win, because I might not. Given the recent close call against Barsley, what was the general sentiment amongst your players in regards to the match against Brentford? It was a bit of a close call, but we have proven tactics. The players are doing the best to deliver top results. We won by only one goal against Barsley. That means our tactics have proven to be effective. That's all we can take from the previous match. Your team's been exceeding expectations so far this season. Promotion is looking a very real possibility. Do your team have what it takes to keep the momentum going? I fucking hope so. Our momentum isn't dropping anyway. We've got a clear goal in mind and our momentum isn't letting up. Having a positive attitude is making all this possible. This is a bit loud here. Can we like volume this down a bit? Okay guys, we'll be wrapping up now. Thank you for attending. No problem. I mean obviously I have to attend, I'm the manager. I'm assuming he's talking to the people there, but uh We'll look at the news before we go in anyway. Um Van Dam goal settles Barnsley defeat. Why is it giving me... Okay. It's giving me a Huddersfield versus Leeds United clash. And granted, that is a local derby. Why does that come off my club news and the game I'm actually playing goes, goes up on the world news? Yeah, whatever. I want to see what it says just because of how close we are to Brentford. And if I, if I was a betting man, I would say this is probably a game we lose. Okay, so it's the open game of football. Same lines again, even though it's only... A point difference between Brentford. Like I said, if Brentford do beat us, they leapfrog us. And looking down the table, if West Brom and Nottingham Forest win as well, we'll go down to sixth. It's just so close to the top. Oh, it's so close to the playoffs again like it was last season in League One. But if Fulham and Stoke slip up, we may be able to go one step further. Not any further ado anyway. We're going to go into the game against Brentford and hope... We can get a win. Obviously, it might not happen because they're a very quality team. And it's going to be difficult. I didn't want to have my... Uh, I thought we'll just go with it. It should be fine. I should be able to differentiate. I'm not that dumb, I don't think. I mean, maybe. We're going to... Not because Brady's bad, but because Beaton, Beaton is higher overall. We're going to bring Beaton in. I think that's the only change we're going to make to this lineup. Um, yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Other than that, it's going to be the same lineup we had against Barnsley last game. Put all the goal news on. Other ones I really care about are Stoke and Fulham, of course. But obviously, we need to keep the playoff goal news on as well. But anyway, we're going to have Rossi in goal. We're going to have Kakachi and Sterling as the fullbacks. Kakachi, of course, captaining the side. Hennessy and Tanibo as centre-backs. Van Damme and Carbonero the wide midfielders. Beaton in the centre midfield spot. Greenwood and Hloshek as our attacking midfielders. And the man who just doesn't, just straight refuses to go up to an 80 overall 
Erling Braut Highland will be our striker. But without further ado, I guess, it's called Court Lane, so I guess I don't have a stadium in, but we are heading to Griffin Park to see if we could take three points off Brentford. This, like I said, would probably be one of our most difficult challenges, except for the Stoke and Fulham games we've had. But it's beside the point. Let's go into it and stop wasting time. I scored two goals each against Stoke and Fulham. If we could score two goals against Bradford, Bradford, I've just mixed my club name and their club name together. There, Brentford. It could be enough. My guy automat. I'm running towards a ball. My guy automatically locks off it. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Now we're gonna go in. I don't want to do any warm ups. I just want to get into this and get it over and done with in case we do lose. Thirteen game unbeaten streak. Eight game win streak. Travelling to Griffin Park, putting it on the line. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. Possibly the biggest game of the day. Unless you count Leeds and Huddersfield in their local derby. It's a big game, which is a big game. Don't get me wrong. It's just they're not as high in the table as we are. I think Watkins is there. He's a decent well, player. We've got Ben Rama, who scored four goals in the last three matches winner, for Brentford. It's concerning. Which means Rossi really needs to be on his game. Four goals in the last three matches. Let's take a look at their squad then. There's probably going to be a couple of people I recognise. Because Brentford are possible promotion contenders. In, I think in real life as well. I don't really follow the championship. But possible uh, contenders in real life, I think. The goalkeeper's quite small, which is interesting. Or maybe he's just small in comparison to Haaland and some of our other players. But their goalkeeper looks kind of small. Anyway. We are prepared and ready to go as we'll ever be. Let's take a look. There are quite a few people that I don't recognise, to be honest. But they've got Ben Rama, who is scoring four in the last three matches. They've got five of a fucking pack. No. And they've got Watkins as well, who I know is a strong player. But we are going to try and break it down. I've changed Haaland's custom tactics. I don't know how much of an effect that will have on the actual game, but we'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, then I'll switch it back. If it does work, then it's going to work wonders, and hopefully he'll get a lot of goals by just running behind the defence. He has got 86 pace, so he should be able to outpace most defenders. It's just the matter of he doesn't do it, like he doesn't do it when I want to do it, and that's probably due to that custom tactic not being on. In position here to protect the ball. Lose the ball, but or get the ball, but losing it again, I should say. Beat on Van Dam, Greenwood. Beaton. Oh, I'm lucky for Beaton there. Maybe should have taken a touch, but he got an early little bit of momentum there. Although, I guess we take a touch and we tackled off us. Yeah, fair enough. Bit of early momentum going there. Brentford keeper called into action pretty early. Goal kick anyway for the bees. The bees' knees. Thank you, Louis, for the follow. I don't know when you followed me, but um, sorry, I'm too busy concentrating on the game. But thank you for the follow. You're right still watching. I appreciate it. Logic That's with a tackle a really across. Tackle. Throw in here. Carbonero just, just watching Ben Rama. And ben Rama's pretty and fast. If he's here. almost not pacing Carbonero, he's pretty fast. Hennessy, not the guy I want in the middle there. Oh, offside anyway, but Rossi had it grabbed. Yeah, it was bit of close. danger there. It was close, but that's all it needs to be close. He was offside. Padillo and Hennessy almost in each other. That doesn't not what wasn't meant to sound sexual. But they are pretty much, so I don't know, I guess you could take it how you want to take it. Hennessy gets it off the beat on in time. As we can turn that out and get the pass off. I put that custom tactic on Haaland, he's still not doing it, unless, Genuinely I guess, maybe it wasn't the time, perhaps, occasion, I don't know. Couldn't get it past the Hloshek. Like I said, it's going to be a difficult one. Hull have scored, interestingly enough. Of course, you're a fan of any of these clubs, a goal, uh, a fan of any championship clubs, a goal news will be in the top right-hand corner, and um, the half-time scores will be shown, so... 
Are we just not getting anything in our favour? I'm trying to come across the tackle, trying to get it clear, and it just bounces off my players. It's bounced off Hennessy straight to, I don't know who it is, but it's Blondie. And he's almost put it in. Jensen almost puts Brentford a goal to the good. I probably shouldn't have called him Blondie, it was kind of disrespectful, but he's an in-game player. I know he's a real-life player, but he won't know. He won't know this, he won't watch this. Beat on, Carbonero. Why would a Brentford play watch a Bradford take career mode? Haaland. Through to... No. Oh, he's not got a power on it. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was... Could have been such a good attack. A bit more power on that pass. We would have been 1-0. I'm so sure of it. Just a slight bit off on that pass. I maybe could have gone through anyway, but I didn't want to get tackled. Watkins. Um, slightly, slightly annoyed. Watkins slowed down by Kakachi, but they're going to get the ball back because it's going to be one of those games, I feel. I'm not going to bring Hennessy too far out. Back post. It's headed away by Sterling. Van Dam brings it further away. And Hloshek isn't going to get there, which is interesting. We've got a fucking challenge on here, I'm not going to lie. Todibo heads away, further away. Now, I believe, by Carbonero Van Dam. Is running, and as much as I want to say I passed it off in time, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Beaton comes across though. Haaland is making the run, but <sighs> no, I wasn't sure. And then I try and push through to his Oh dear, it's gonna be one of those. Hennessy, very good interception. Greenwood. When I say one of those, by the way, I mean one of those games where I'm just not gonna get anything in my favour, and that's kind of evidence there. Van Damme. God, just pass it when I'm pressing the Y button. Not hold on. Why did why did it do that sometimes? Just keeps the ball anyway when I'm trying to fucking just pass it off before I get tackled. I don't know if there's maybe something wrong with my controller or something wrong with the game. I know my A button's a bit fucked. I've learned that from playing other games. But beside the point. Greenwood looking for nobody because they've got five at the back. Beat on though, intercepts. Impressed quickly though. Van Damme. Back to beat on. Back into Van Damme. One over to Haaland. Are you, no, you can't be off the crossbar. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, the emotional train wreck that I am in this game. That should have been 1 0. How Haaland has powered that onto the bar instead of scoring it is a bit concerning, but. He's won the header anyway. It's just not going to be our goal yet, I don't think. Haaland, the, the target, air. interestingly enough. I'm going to pass it all the way back. Are when you kidding me? Of, game, of course there's someone fucking back. waiting there. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, we're going to get counted on. No, we're not. They're they pass like shit. Carbonero. We pass like shit. They're get the ball back. <sighs> Emotions Only running high for me Watkins. here. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. The cross is I need Tadebo to get back in the middle, he already is. is. Perfect. Fruitful looking attack. It did look as Sterling coming across, he's just going to run it away. Game, Smart doing. idea. Play it across, down, through. Oh, he's through here. Now the task is to remain focused. Oh, Keepers just... Oh, <laughs> <to begin> <laughs> just, just playing the back of the net. Just a few seconds beforehand, he had a big save to make. Well, he can't it up into the air, which goes absolutely fucking nowhere, but we've won it back. We've kept the ball anyway. Carbonero just pass it straight to their player because it doesn't want to go through. Beat on. Interesting. Got to bring Tidibo to far forward, but I already have. Carbonero intercepts. They're just playing as bad, bad a pass as us. It's just... Oh, we've had chances to break through. We just can't. Haaland. Back in. Van Dam. 1 0. He is. Pr I actually love more Van Dam. He's proving to be a fucking beauty in this game. And we take the lead against the Bees. He headbutts the corner flag, which is an interesting strat. I'm trying to get Haaland. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to get Haaland some more goals so he can get top scorer. But instead of becoming a scorer, he becomes a provider. Van Dam absolutely powers that past the Bees keeper. Raya or Raya, I believe it is. We've had chances, but we finally take our lead. They've had chances as well, but we get the first goal here at Griffin Park. Bradford City. 
no, Van Damme, I'm actually going to be so... I'm, I'm so excited for when he like it hits, it hits his potential, maybe even grows beyond it, depending on how well he's playing. Because that now he potentially isn't the game this year, remember. That doesn't do anything for Haaland, because he's fucking playing well and not growing shit. Bloshek. That was a very hostile pass by them. Oh, Haaland tried to get him before the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper gets there first. Very brave decision by Raya. I'll give him credit, and he does do very well with it. Todibo wins headers, though. Carbonero has passed it off there, but couldn't get off before the it was tackled, I guess. But it's just whether they can convert that they've had the lion's share position, but they've had no the real... The well, I mean, they have had chances, just haven't scored. As I'm trying to get across. They could still. There's still plenty of time. It's switched off Sterling when I didn't want it to. Interesting. Uh, we'll just roll it out to Hennessy. So he's already pushing me. I've just literally rolled the ball out. Holy hell, these guys are pushing me hard. Haaland. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Running towards goal. And the Is it a penalty? penalty? I was trying to get it across. Turn around the box. And it's a red. Pinnock's been red sent card. off. I thought he might go a bit of the ball. I don't know. I'll take a look at this again. Yeah, oh, um, I don't referee. know about that. Like, he didn't get the ball, but he definitely got Haaland as well. Right. But the thing is, that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to get him to get the box to Haaland. Do a little like ball across. So I, believe, I think it was Flotek. I'm not sure completely. But in the end, we've won a penalty. And whether we score is a different matter because I can't do penalties that well. But we're going to take it with Haaland because he won it. And of course it's safe. And I'm trying to get the fucking guy to top score. He would have gone right if I'd gone right. Very good save to be fair. But if I'd gone the other way, it would have been saved as well. I just try and get this guy to top score. At the moment he just can't score. Right. Not over yet. Obviously, we're still in the first half, so of course it's not over yet. That's the dumbest statement I've like made ever. Punched away. Back into Greenwood. Oh, cunt it, man. Better header there. Half time. Interesting game so far. We've missed a penalty. We're goal up. They're on 10 men. Over that red card decision league. Well, you can't blame the fans. They all get wrapped up in the emotion. Well, one nil up, and they're down to ten men. Really I should take that as a positive. A I really should have scored that penalty. I think anyway, I would have gone there. Probably would have got it safe. I thought though, I just didn't feel like that penalty was getting scored by Hound. <sighs> Whatever. We go into the break. Here, the scores around the grounds. If your favourite team is there, you can take a quick look. Uh, I'm looking for Stoke and. Fulham mainly. Stoke drawing, Fulham drawing. Interesting news. Take a look at the match facts here. It's probably going to be quite even. I I lied. In chances, we've been dominating, but possession they've had the the lion's share, as the fucking commentators would say. We kick off the second half at Griffin Park anyway. Not where I was aiming the pass, but that's fine. Sterling. They try and get round to Hloshek here. Interesting. But now they've got like 10 men. I don't know where they've taken a guy out of position. So I think they put another one in centre back. Oh, what? That's good. That's good in the middle. I thought I'd been tackled fully. Oh, my days, this game sometimes. And news of a goal on the West Brom game. Alan? It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. It's been scored by Kenneth Zahore. Yeah, yeah. Do do. Kenneth Zahore, he's one of the top scorers. He scored again. Maybe I should not worry about top scorers, he's worried about getting results, which is what I am worried about majority wise, but now that I'm actually getting results, I want to see if I can get top scorer as well. Bring to the oh it's Carbonero, never mind. I thought I was bring to the out of position, but it's Carbonero, it's still good. Shot's not great, and it's easily brought away. Van Dam. Carbonero could be spotted here. Oh not quite. I thought I could just keep on. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal. To the only the goal lead, coming so far from Van Dam. Well. But it is a goal and it is a lead for us. Well, the championship is and like I said, I'd use, I'd use fucking bloody Brentford would be a struggle. I wasn't wrong. Brentford, Brentford taking on Middlesbrough next. I should know by this point who Middlesbrough's Derek next games are because they just play whoever we play after. Belter. Stop cutting inside me and do something with it. Jeez. Not what I want to do. Wins it back, oh, oh god! You know where I'm going there, of course. Should be surprised, but I'm not. And Greenwood stops his run. Interesting. Van Damme wins ahead of back, though. 
I love Van Damme right now. He is becoming a really good player. Van Damme could play Haaland through, could score to a provider, and uh, I mean he did, but fucking Haaland can't score right now, and I don't know why. I'm getting the chances for him. He's getting good shots. It's just every time I take a shot, the keeper's like saving it. And let's even come to penalties at this point. I don't know what's going on, but as long as I get the win here. I mean, a draw would definitely be fine. But I would like the win since I'm in the winning position. A shot there, and it's way over. I think that might have been Ben Rama. And I don't want to make any substitutions. I want to hold on to this game as much as I can. Especially, I don't want to bring off Van Damme. As much as I like to give Banks more game time, Van Damme is becoming a bit of a revelation, to be honest. Ross is going to launch it. Towards Haaland, who should win the header. He has won the header. It's going to somehow come to... Are you kidding? Oh, no. Kadiba's out of position. Get it away. We could catch him. Nice. Beat on. Through to Haaland. The defence is wide open. And can I, I don't know what I'm meant to do with this man. I'm taking... Oh, my God. I think it's just in the coding and the scripting that I just can't get this bloody guy to score six shots from the Norwegian I'm even going to aim for him with the corner and he's fucking awful oh my I'm honestly thinking about putting Greenwood up front and seeing if he does much better. It's not that Hallard is doing bad. He's getting the chances. It's just their goalkeeper is very good, to be fair. Apart from the one goal he's conceded. He has stopped there, everything, in my, uh, everything I've been going towards match. him with. Carbonero. Try to play Hallard through. Are you kidding? Oh, he's a gross face. <laughs> Oh, oh no, I don't know. Alan gets another Jerry bite of the cherry and another save from the, the fucking same. goalkeeper. Holy wow, shit, dude. The Brentford fans try to will the bees back into this. I know he's going to try and do. I think I know what he's going to try and do anyway. Yeah, okay, that's not what I thought he was going to try and do, I'll be honest. Ben Rama now on the wide stick. What can wide. do from here? position I guess on white stick off the post holy get that away right now I was trying to get away at this point I don't care if it goes hard or not there holy shit man if Brentford had the equaliser I've been so mad because you had absolutely millions of chances here we just can't seem to get a second one to go in this one we shooting with Haaland but running through is working brilliantly I, no, no, this is actually this is actually getting a joke. This is actually getting a joke. I'm, I'm being serious. It's actually not funny anymore. Like, I'm starting to think there's actually scripting in this game. How long you're offside, buddy? I'm going to flip back to Sterling. Crossing possibilities. And lay it off to Beaton. Try to get through to Haaland. The angle's fucking closing and closing and closing. God, the can't, can't put a goal away with this man. This is the most frustrating game with Howland I've ever had. And I had some frustrating game games at the start of the season with this man. I just can't put it in the back of the net with him today. And if they do equalise, I'm going to be so fuming because of the fact that I just had so many chances and can't fucking get it past their goalkeeper. I am going with the full this full 11 for the full 90, by the way. There's a bit of disclosure there. I'm just going to boot it. I don't trust anyone right now. Go straight to the Brentford player, of course, but it's fine. As long as it's away from my goal. The stress right now is unreal. Road to, to Debo, I guess. I'm aiming for Sterling. <sighs> That's okay. This is a score, FIFA. I want some of your fucking earnings. In your game. Rossi with a save. My days. How does it fucking get the pass so wrong there with Debo when I'm aiming straight for Sterling? 
they're pushing for an equaliser, but we honestly shouldn't have to be in that position. <laughs> Haaland is just not the man for the goals today. So it seems. Fucking Christ. Almighty, though. Headers over top. Oh, boy. This is a stressful game. Both of the games I recorded. I recorded the Barnsley game just before this one. That was stressful. This is way more stressful. And when I thought they were going to be good, I mean, they've been good, but I didn't mean that their goalkeeper was going to pull off a fucking worldie of a performance against Haaland anyway. I shoot anyone else, well, it probably goes in. Just a little bit more. The fans are demanding Let's just hold it. on. Harbinero on intercepts. Right don't know where to go with this. I guess it's to Sterling. Again, I don't know where to go with it. I guess to their player. Give it away. They are pushing me hard for this equaliser. And they're probably going to get it. I'm not going to well, the front. But Felibo well, gets it away for now. Harbinero. Root to beat on. Greenwood in open space on the right here. Middle lane for Haaland, who I think is offside anyway, but. Nah. Defended. I don't know if he was onside or not, but it doesn't matter. We've got three minutes of added time, and please, can we just not bottle this? I've had so many opportunities with Haaland today that I deserve to be more than 1-0 up. But if 1-0 is the score I'm going to get, then 1-0 is the score I'm going to get. You can't fight the game, I guess. So Debo the target this time, because Haaland can't see the score. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, it's held by Raya, and they might have one more chance if they go quick. They're not going quick. They still might have a chance here. It depends on how much time the game gives them, I suppose. Field. Try and keep it forward, I guess. Okay, they're not going to get enough time. We are going to beat the bees. Ten man Brentford. Only hold us to a goal because I don't know, man. Halford had so many efforts on goal, and uh, their goalkeeper may be the man of the match, to be honest. We get the 1 0 victory, but it should have been more. If it hadn't been for Raya, I think it could have amounted to about four or five. Him off red card. Van Damme with one attempt, office. one goal. Haaland had about seven or eight attempts, didn't score at all. Fucking Christ, that was a stressful game. Van Damme, the difference maker. At Griffin Park, it finishes Brentford 0, Brentford City 1. Or Brentford 0, I guess. Brentford City 1, whatever you want to call it. I want to call it a fucking load of scripting there because I, just, I want to see how many shots he had. I want to see how many shots Haaland had. Man of the match goes to Haaland, somehow. I guess for the assist and the amount of fucking chances he's creating. Look at this. If they had got a goal, it would have been fuming. They had one shot on goal and it was a stroke of, like, stroke of the first half. Stop his time, whatever. Basically, right at the end of the first half, they had a shot on target. Okay, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We had eight shots on target, 16 shots in total. How many of those are Haaland's? <laughs> Man of the match goes to Haaland. Not so sure about that one, Chief, but he did. He was creative, I guess. 9.0 rig for him. He assisted Van Damme's goal anyway. Van Damme with 8.4 the goal score. Everyone else, maybe a bit. I don't know. Tadipo was a bit off his game. I wouldn't say he was 6.9. Rossi was 7.6. Did keep us in it sometimes. Ryan mid 11 saves. How's he only got 7.6? He is their man of the match. And they took off their striker, which is interesting. Oh, they removed their striker, which is interesting. They didn't have an outright striker. They kept their five at the back, the little shits. Uh, I want to see how many shots Haaland had. <laughs> ten, shots on tar uh, ten shots, six on target. All six of them got stopped. But yeah, he had, had a good outing. He got an assist anyway. It's just... Ugh, sometimes... I don't know. I just don't know about this game. We'll go to the post-match interview anyway. See what goes on here. Still in form of... Dropped points. We're not obviously right in their asses now, but we time. have caught up with them a little bit. Don't talk to me about Haaland. Or I'll scream. Lush kids continue his hot run of form. Mm. I mean, how satisfied are you with his performance today? He was alright, I guess. Don't get carried away, though. Let's not get carried away as we still have a long road ahead of us. You performed well today, but it takes a lot of hard work to keep up this momentum until the end of the season. Somehow, we've got nine wins in a row. Rapid cities have been so far in the AFL Championship in the past 14 games. Are you confident to keep a streak rolling? 
Same answer as always. Stop asking this question, please. Get, give me something new. So really we'll see defeat, so I will not turn the streak to the obsession. Obviously, we're not going to get something new until I lose, but still. Able to secure the victory today before half time. You please have things about the second half. No, because I couldn't bloody get a goal with my main striker. We should have put the game beyond doubt. We were the better team. To, we were the better team. I deserve to win based on how we played. We created enough chances and the score could have been bigger. Yes. I might not have seen the she points there with the better team, but... It's 16 shots. 8 on target. 6 on target for, Flush, uh, for Haaland. And he just couldn't finish. Like his sex life. Although well, I don't know what his sex life is like, but it was... Whatever. We're... Oh my god, we're 5 points off the leaders now. 4 points off automatic promotion. I honestly think we could get promoted automatically. Which is way higher expectation than I had for us and the board had for us. Look at this. Finished mid table. That was my that was my sentiment as well as the boards. But um It's kinda of gone beyond that <laughs> at the moment. We're in the top playoff spot, aiming for automatic promotion. Which is a bit crazy. We've got a message here from Francesco Conti, who we haven't given a chance to in a while, but he says the recent chances that I've given him mean a lot in the team or the team mean a lot. Hope we can repair your faith. Uh, the light goes to your head. You've been doing well, but the light goes to your head. You need to keep working hard to turn your spot. And at the moment, you're only going to get your spot when we're playing against shittier teams because fuck me, that was a hell of a game. Is Haaland 80 yet? He, he's got to. He's got to. There's no way. If he gets an F, I might release him. Like, legit. I might release him. Anyway, we'll give the Banks and Van Damme duo, obviously, some drills as well. Both players who I see in my squad for the foreseeable future. I know it won't put many Van Damme stats, but we're still going to trade him anyway. Banks is probably going to overtake him overall eventually, because he's just got higher potential, but... That's just how it goes, I'm afraid. And we'll give one to Conte. I haven't trained him in a while. Please don't get an F, for the love of God, Erling. He's hit an 80! He's just done it! He's begrudgingly decided... To be the first 80 rated player in our squad. We've got our first 80 rated man. And it is the man himself, Haaland. Who has just been a focal point this entire season. Where he's been playing bad, playing good, being unable to score. But he has got the first 80 rating in this squad. And now I've got a clickbait title for this episode. It's, well, it's not really a clickbait actually because it's true. But I've got a title for this episode now. And Youth Squad Monthly Report. Let's take a look at how our one player in the Youth Squad is doing. Ericsson still looking solid, potentially 84 to 90, so he could get mid 80s if I train him enough. But I'm probably gonna have to send him out on loan in the way of him to get trading. I don't know. Are we gonna get our scout report before or after the Huddersfield game? It's gonna be interesting to find out because our, our report usually lands on the fourth. Oh, or on the day, I guess. Monthly scouting update. For Hughes, we've got a couple of interesting players. We've got George Davis, who isn't going to be any good. This next one, though, Ed Brown. <laughs> Auto-adjust budgets and sign player. His potential could be shit, but we've got him anyway. Rejecting Cameron Ward. I know he's got the same name as me, unfortunately. Obviously not last name, but first name is the same. But mm, not good enough for our squad. Lucky Yarts have kicking off his Russian report. Pretty shit. Dimitri actually looked quite good until I saw his potential. And his value is shit. Uh, the Russian scout reports this season have not been as good as the ones last season. I'm not going to lie. We sent the other one to France, so it's going to be a little while until we get the French squad report, but we do have a man, another man now in the youth academy, Ed Brown. He's going to be a left back. His overall is 63. We've already got enough left backs, so we're getting too many. He might want to be called up soon, but I'm going to leave him for now, maybe a couple of months, just to see if his potential rounds out a bit or like narrows a bit so we get a bit more of an idea where he's going to end up once his potential is gone. But um, basically, that's going to be the end of another episode. Uh, we've got our first 80 rated player. It is Haaland, of course. 
And he could not score for shit in the last game. But he is at 80 rated, finally, begrudgingly. He's like, fine, I'll get somewhat of a good grade. Just so you can have your title. Thank you, Haaland. And um, next time, we're going to be facing off against Huddersfield. And in fact, I'll show you the games for December as well as the review of November quickly. So we started off in November, taking on Peterborough with a 3-1 win. We travelled to... I've forgotten the name of it, to be honest. The KCOM Stadium, I think it was, or something like that. Hull City losing... Uh, or sorry, Hull City were losing 3-0. We won 3-0, I should say. We then came back to Pride Park... Not Pride Park. Why am I thinking Pride Park? Is my brain on? Valley Parade. And we won 2-1 against Barnsley. And then we travelled away to the Griffin Park, which is Brentford Stadium, of course. And we just won 1-0, although it should have been way more. But next episode, we're going to kick off with a local derby against Huddersfield at the Valley Parade before travelling to the Hawthorns to take on West Bromwich Albion. We'll come back home to face Birmingham and then we'll uh, be home again to host Rotherham. We'll then travel away to Derby Stadium. I think it's actually Pride Park and that's probably where I'm getting my brain on. My brain from. I don't know. I'd, I don't know. My brain is not working, apparently. Then we'll come back home to take on Middlesbrough at the Valley Parade. And that will be the end of 2021. And then we'll go into the new year. With some new hope. We're going to take on Fulham at our first game in the new year. Holy shit. And Stoke's there as well. <sighs> a long way to go. But we are almost approaching the halfway point of our first season in the championship. And we are exceeding expectations. We're in third place. With potential to get a little bit higher. Definitely, I would say. We're on a uh, save win streak. Nine wins in a row. 14 games unbeaten. Which is absolutely mental cakes. I'm... Debating on whether to turn out a difficulty, but I'm enjoying it right now, obviously, because I'm winning most games. But it is still a challenge, so maybe I'll leave it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. I'm going to stop rambling now. Let you guys go on with your day. Like I said, next time we will take on our local rivals, Huddersfield, at the Valley Parade. We've got a press conference for that as well. But that's next time. Um, I'll see you guys later.